water's okay. <laughs> it's um, 8.45, 15 minutes, 15 minutes. Uh, a couple things. Didn't have a dream last night, so that was nice because I slept really uncomfortable yesterday <laughs> with the, um, the vertigo. I did the epi thing again and um, it resolved it for sure um, but I knew I, I couldn't sleep laying down so I had to like prop everything up and sleep Psst, like if I was on a chair a little uncomfortable so I was glad I didn't really dream anything um, I it did wake up being inspired yesterday when I was coming home from where did I go? Oh, I went to go to the car thing, then the post office, and then I went to get salsa because you know I don't have time to make it. <laughs> um. On the way home, someone was painting on the wall, and um, it looked, from afar, it looked like someone familiar. And the closer I got, and I didn't have my glasses, and the closer I got, I was like, that's someone painting the wall. The mural beautiful mural and I got a little nervous and um but I looked at the painting and it was sweet and beautiful and and I said to him I said it's beautiful he said thank you and I walked off but I woke up with that painting in my mind remembering because there were it looked like there were children and there was rays of light and different shades of color and, and the faces didn't have an expression and it reminded me of the children's book that I wanted to create with Jewel and um, because she paints that way her her um I'm gonna turn around a little bit but that's her image right there See if I can zoom in. I don't know how to do this. Yeah. So that's what, um, that, that's Jules. And, um, and I really like that. I really liked how she had, um, created faces with no details. And that's, that's what that painting reminded me of. Yeah, when I was walking back and, and just sitting with it and, and with the experience of yesterday. So I got inspired and I um, created a few poems and I have an idea of the type of book that I want. This one's called Love on a Spectrum, born March 10, 2022 dedicated to those who love. Love is on a spectrum, full of color, shades, and intensities, all needed for white light. Love is on a spectrum. Love is on a spectrum, ready for expansion across all dimensions of space and time. Love is on a spectrum. Love is on a spectrum. No abnormalities or atypicalities here. Every person is perfect. Love is on a spectrum. Love is on a spectrum. From difficulty understanding the emotion to feeling the emotion too much. Every person contributes to some degree. Love is on a spectrum. Love is on a spectrum. Giving birth to ideas or children. Creation is love expanded from the self. Love is on a spectrum. Love is on a spectrum like fruits with different sizes of pits or seeds, 
evolving with each life cycle. Love is on a spectrum. Love is on the spectrum, retracting with pain, expanding once released. Love is on a spectrum. So I thought about it and I thought, you know what, this next collection of poems, I really want to include more of a visual component to it. So, um, yeah, so there's that. I think I, I finished up one, two, three, four, five poems. Not all um, together, but this one's called Interconnected Energy, Energy at Heart. Born March 9, 2022, dedicated to the young souls on Earth. Where do we come from? We all come from the same source because we are all interconnected energy, energy at heart. Why do I feel different in my body? We all come with different energies in our body because we are all interconnected energy, energy at heart. Whether old or new souls and new bodies, we change over time. Why does my reflection look different from yours? Our bodies come in different forms because we are all interconnected energy, energy at heart. Our bodies can transform to a line if needed. Why do I remember other stories of past lives? We come from different places in different time periods across galaxies near and far because we are all interconnected energy, energy at heart. Remember the lessons and apply them here. Why is there pain? Feel, heal, and transmute the energy because we are all interconnected energy, energy at heart. Pain is love that is held back, waiting to be released and expanded. Why do I feel lost sometimes? You are never lost, my child, only paused. Because we are all interconnected energy, energy at heart. Learn the new lesson and when you are ready, move on. How will I find my way? This birth chart will guide you but listen to your internal compass because we are all interconnected energy, energy at heart. Close your eyes and feel your way home. Where will I go when I die? We will leave an energetic imprint, but we all go to the same source because we are all interconnected energy, energy at heart. So I'm going to go back to the painting today see if it's finished. Keep getting inspired. I'm looking forward to that. Doing my lunch break. That's a little bit. Hi. My name is Yubi, and in case you haven't figured it out, this footage is capturing my experience as I learn to navigate my personal spiritual awakening. Um, I am learning that this experience is unique to each one of us. Um, in whatever way we believe we are embracing living our truth, this just happens to be my journey. Um, and despite me having a graduate degree and a license in clinical social work, this by no means is intended to replace any type of mental health advice. This is just me on a personal level, uh, documenting my experience, shedding light on the truth that I am learning and discovering for myself, um, and really inviting you along for the ride. Um, if by some <laughs> magical chance you find this content to be helpful in any way, shape, or form, please click the like button, you know, share the message, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have an Instagram account, a personal one, and one specifically for this channel that you're more than welcome to check out. Um, I'm an open book. Um, I have also created t-shirt um, t-shirt designs. I'm wearing my favorite one right now, which is the North Node. Um, uh, design, um, but I have that and other things uh, that you can look at um, inspired by this process and journey. Um, and I have the link in the description box as well as in the about section of my YouTube um, channel. So you're more than welcome to check those items out. Um, any type of support is you know, great. <laughs> um, again, if, if you find this content really helpful or meaningful, sometimes when we um, take that step, be vulnerable, you know, with, with showing what's inside our hearts and what's really our truth. We realize that we're much more connected um, than, than what we thought we were. And so um, I hope that um, 
as I'm living this experience it, and you, that you find some type of truth for yourself or, or find some type of um, ability to heal in some way just by relating, you know, just, just by knowing that you're not alone. That really has been my goal with, with this process, um, not just um, being able to connect with others, but really for my own healing. Um, it's definitely been a therapeutic experience and a very creative one for, for myself. So I thank you and um, I wish you all the best and you know, we'll see what else um, comes next for me.